is trying to get students today uh, to understand that, uh, that they are a, process, a part of this continuum called history. Uh, and, and we're living in a time where you have a president uh, who talks about change, who talks about trying to get people involved and taking ownership. Uh, one of the things that in his speech, election night, he used the word we 47 times. And what I'm discovering is that so many people uh, don't know where to start. They, they want to do something. Uh, they want to be involved in something. But they, it's, it's this, well, I don't know where I begin. And trying to get folks to understand that this is not a difficult thing. This is not a hard task. It, it's, it's trying to make it as understandable and relatable as possible uh, for people to really understand uh, that they have a stake in the future of this country. People, I believe, because of Black History Month, more Americans have learned about the influence and the contributions of African Americans than they ever have. I believe that it had, if you take out Black History Month, then you will not have that impetus for folks to say, we, we need to be reminded and, and need to understand that rich history and that rich legacy. I don't think we've reached that particular point yet. As an African American, I want to know more about the history of Hispanics in this country. Uh, I want to have a better understanding in terms of, of the contributions that women have made in this country. I think we make a mistake when we sit here and buy into this notion uh, that, well, no, 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 everybody's equal, we're all Americans. Yeah, but ask ourselves the difficult question. In our everyday lives, do we see the level of inclusion across the board? Television, radio, newspapers, you see them in terms of textbooks. Uh, and so when you see that level of inclusion, then we have a different conversation.